Granny, Zabner. I believe that's our ring. I know it, Lum. I believe you're right. Now, see. Hello, John M. Down store. This is Lum and Abner. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, when last we visited the old fellows, their plans to capture Irvin, the lion, had failed completely. And it resulted in Lum getting caught in a bear trap that Abner had set. Since then, the lion has disappeared, and reports about him have been coming in from adjoining towns. In Pine Ridge, the stores and school have reopened, but people are still pretty cautious in venturing forth from their homes. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum in the Jotham Down store. Abner has just returned from making a delivery. Listen. You got back in an awful big hurry. You sure you didn't just dump them groceries out, Summers? No, sir, I deal every all of them, Lum. But I run all the way. You know, that's scary out there. Scary? Why, sure, it just seems like that lion's going to jump out from behind every house you pass. Oh, Prado, Prado. That's just your imagination. Ain't we been getting reports of folks seeing him in other towns? Odin and Cherry Hill and Big Port? They're even blaming that train wreck south of Potter on him. Well, just the same, I think that lion is still hanging around Pine Ridge. Prado, Prado. Well, if you're so sure he's out of town, why don't you make his delivers in? Well, I I would, but... Well, you know how bad my foot's hurt me where I stepped in that dead blame bear trap you set yesterday. You said this morning that your foot felt all right today. Well, the pain comes and goes, Abner. Oh. Uh-huh. It's paining me something wonderful right now. Well... Granny, I'm lucky to be alive at all after being pushed into a bear trap and attacked by a lion. Irvin never attacked you, Lom. He never. Well, where'd I get these bumps and scratches on the back of my head? I told you you got them when you fainted and fell through that screen door. Irvin never paid no attention to you at all. Just sort of glanced at you and then walked on up the street. Listen, Abner, ferocious lions don't act that way. I know he attacked me. You was more than likely so scared and excited you don't recollect what actually happened. I was standing right there when everyone... Let it go, let it go. We got something more important to do. We have, huh? Yeah, we can't let that lion run loose all over the country, endangering everybody's lives. We got to organize a safari and capture him. Yeah, we're... Organize a what, Lon? A safari. That's a big game hunting expedition in Africa. Africa. Yeah, I just reading all about it in a book we got over there in the library. Through the Jungle with Sir Alexis Littleton. Sir Alexis catches lions and tigers and all that stuff. Well, that sounds like a good idea, Lum. I- I'd love to go on that there uh, sofa, whatever you call it, but I don't think Irvin's had time to get there yet. Get where? Africa. Africa? Ain't that where you said we was going? Of course not. We just hunt around here, or wherever we think Irving has been. Well, now, if you think he's went to Africa, why, I reckon that's where we better go then. I dog is he must be off a fast runner to get that fur away in this length of time. I know how fur it is. We better pack a big launch if we're going to make a trip like that. Abner, we ain't going to Africa. I just meant that Africa was where Sir Alexis does his big game hunting. Here, let me show you a picture of him. Love to see him. It's right here on the front of the book. Here, looky there. <laughs> well, I do know. I dog is he sure gets around for being just a youngin', don't he? What do you mean, a youngin'? Well, look, he, he's got on short pants and half socks, Lom. Of course he has, but that don't mean he's Reckon a Reckon his mama knows that he's running around down there in Africa hunting lions and such as that at his age. Wait, look at that picture again, Abner. He's got a beard. I dog as he does have, don't he? Well, reckon how a little kid like him could grow a beard like that. For goodness sakes. He ain't a little kid, Abner. He's a grown-up man. Oh. That's just the kind of clothes big game hunters wear. Heavy shoes, short pants, big helmet. And he's hard to get me an outfit like that. You mean you'd wear stuff like that? Why, sure. If I'm going to lead that safari out after the line, I ought to look like a big game hunter, ordinary. 
Well, now, Lom, you're too old to be running around in young'un's clothes. Ain't it? I can just see me. Big belt around me and a couple more big belts over my shoulders, carrying a big lion gun. What an impression I'll make on Miss Fredericks. <laughs> Miss Fredericks? <laughs> Why, sure. Why, you surely ain't gonna let her see you dressed up that way, are you? Well, of course I am. Facts is, to be right honest about it, that's the main reason I'm gonna do all this. Well, now, Lom... <laughs> oh, oh, sure, yeah, I see your well, point well, now. I thought she'd <laughs> catch you on. Well, I, I wouldn't go too far with it, Lom. You don't want to make her feel like she's robbing the cradle. Robbing the cradle? Yeah, well, now, I'll admit it'll help you win, Miss Frederick, if you can fix yourself up to where you look younger, Lom. But I think wearing short pants is overdoing it. She don't want to marry no four-year-old young'un. For goodness sakes. Can't you understand them short pants is just for hunting lions in? They ain't got nothing to do with trying to look younger. Well, you don't need to be ashamed about it, Lum. I understand how them things is. An old feller falls in love and... Old feller? Who's an old feller? Well, now, don't get mad, Lum. I want to see you win Miss Frederick the worst way. And if it'll help to make you look younger... I doggies will make you look younger. You can count on me. I don't want to look no younger. Yes, you do now. You don't need to hide things from me, Lom. I'm your best friend. Let's see now. First thing I believe we ought to do is to dye your hair. We can take some black ink and just you pour You leave it. my hair alone. Well, it'd make you look a heap younger, Lom. Then we can trim your mustache. Abner, will you listen to me? I only mentioned them short pants because... All right, all right. You can have the short pants if you want them. But now in that case, I think you better shave that mustache clean off long. Wait a minute. You ain't going to try to go back to school just so you can get to be in one of Miss Frederick's classes, are you? Of course I ain't. Well, that's good. I, I don't think it'd work no way long. They could tell by your size you's too old for school, even if they couldn't tell by your clothes. Abner, I ain't going to school, and I ain't trying to dress like a youngin'. All I'm aiming to do is... I know, I know. I was in love myself once long. But now there's just one thing. Try and be sensible about it. Sensible? Yes, sir. Now, I think dyeing your hair and trimming your mustache is a good idea. But now, as far as wearing that Buster sake, Brown... Goodness Abner, get off that subject before you drive me stark raving mad crazy. You won't look good in them little Buster Brown suits, Lom. Don't you realize there's a ferocious lion running loose, endangering the lives of women and children in every town around here? Why, of course I do. That's Irvin, the lion. And don't you realize that every time he tears somebody to pieces or does some damage, it's our fault? Our fault? Yes, sir. It's our lion, and we let him get loose. Oh, so just forget about dyeing my hair and stuff like that and help me get this safari organized so we can capture her. Yeah, yeah, that's a better idea, Lom. That looking younger, that idea can wait, but now we better get Irvin as soon as we can. How, how soon are you going to start that safari? Right away. Or wait a minute, though. Granny, we have to wait till Cedric gets back in town. Cedric? Is he going to lead the hunt? No, oh, no, I'm going to be a head hunter, but I need him for... Well... To be honest, Abner, I, I don't think I've got enough nerve to go outside without Cedric near me. You ain't, huh? No, not the way that lion hates and despises me. Tax me every time. Why, he never attacked you, Lom. He wait, just... Wait a minute, I think that's our ring. Yeah, I believe it. Why, well, sure the world. More yeah. likely somebody else threatening to run us out of town if we don't find Irvin. I don't know who it could be. Everybody's threatening us that I know of. Hello, jot him down, store. I'm at her to doing the talking. Threatening to whoop me, shoot me, Who? Everybody. Oh, how are you, Miss Fredericks? Miss Fredericks. It's Miss Fredericks, Abner. Yeah, here you. <laughs> well, you what? Old Lom's ears turn red when he talks to her. Why, of course you do, of course you do. <laughs> Amber. Well, if Ezra left it up to me to pint somebody, I'll just pint myself. Yes, sir. Oh, no bother at all, just glad to do it. Yes, ma'am. Abner, see if you can find some old belts I can wear over my shoulders. Belt? Yeah, I got to go over to the schoolhouse to guard the youngins from the line while they're leaving school. And I want to look like Sir Alexis. Now, Lom, you don't want to get all fixed up like that now, huh? Yes, I do. Now, hurry up and do as I say. All right. Mom? You want to do it? Oh, do it. no, Miss Frederick. Just waiting on a customer. 
I'll help you all I can. Oh, no, we don't have many customers. I can get away all right. You're my true friend. Fact okay. is, I'm planning a big safari. Safari. No, 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 a safari, a big hunting expedition. Abner, get away from it. Huh? Huh? No, not you, Miss Fredericks. I was just talking to Abner. He was... Abner, what are you doing? I'm just trying to help you. Well, just get away from me. Uh, what's that, Miss Frederick? I'll help him well. No, I'm still here. Well, I'll be over as soon as I can... Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll be all right over. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, well, you can count on me, Garden and Young and very... Abner, get away from me. Go get them belts. Well, I want to finish this first, Lom. Well, here, what am I saying to her? Don't let me stand here and tell her I'll go over there. You done told her. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Mom? Hold still. All right, Miss Fredericks. I'll be right over. Yes, Mom. Goodbye. Granny, why can't I keep from saying things like that? There. Now, how does that look, Lom? Huh? Your britches. Is that how you wanted them? Why, you crazy idiot. You ruined my pants. What's the idea of cutting a feller's pants legs clean off above the knees while he's talking on the telephone? Well, you said you wanted to wear short pants, and I know that you got them. Mm-hmm.